Do you all know about Big Lurch? Huh? This guy Big Lurch who ate one of his friends. Well, he ate him? He literally cut him up and ate him? Yeah. Big Lurch is a Texas rapper who ate his friend Tynesha's lungs in 2002. He described his state of mind in an interview from prison with Geraldo Rivera. I mean, all I can remember, you know, the world was going to end, and, and I had to find the devil and kill the devil before the world ended. That's, that's the last thought that I had. Do you know that uh, you were actually chewing on her flesh, allegedly, when the cops came? No, I didn't, I didn't know much about that. The next thing I remember is waking up in a room by myself, and it was horrible. Yeah, we never heard no lurch, you know? Why, what's up, from PCP? He ate yeah. somebody? Or yeah, what? he's a big PCP. Yeah, he was a sick puppy from, from the get-go then, you know? The crazy things, they get naked and want to fight with the police, that's it. You know, and probably shoot somebody, kill somebody, or whatever, but not no shit like that, I want to eat. You know, too much zombie movies, man. You see what I mean? The radio call came out a tall woman dressed in a, in a red dress walking in traffic. The radio car arrived and he was naked, covered in blood. He had her heart under his arm. He had her heart under his you arm. You know that? I did not know that. His, her heart was in his armpit. Wow. At least that's what I was told. Wow, I've been pen pals with him for years. Really? Yeah. That case is an anomaly, it's few and far between. Very rarely do we see anything of that nature. In Los Angeles, I met with Frank Liga, a narcotics detective who dedicated 16 years to hunting down and arresting PCP manufacturers. PCP, what I find so fascinating is that it's real organic synthesis. You're not working with things that you bought at CVS, well, you're working with real chemicals. That's, that's you as a, as a chemistry background. The average person that manufactures PCP is third and fourth generation down the line, and they get a recipe. It's amazing how they come up with some of this stuff. We then went inside to look at photos from his biggest bust. This was and is and probably will continue to be the largest PCP seizure in history. This guy's lab site was in a small village about an hour and a half northeast of Las Vegas up in the mountains. His whole job every day was to make PCP. This is packaged for sale. This is actually how we got the guy. So he was hydrogenating the purity in the yep. same operation? Yeah. That seems pretty sophisticated. He bought everything in bulk because this is his full-time job. We seized 100, roughly 130 gallons of finished PCP and enough chemicals to make about 1,500 gallons of finished PCP. The gangs control PCP, and the old gang wars from the 80s, the bloods and the crypts, the blue and the red, doesn't apply to this level of criminal. You have a source of paparidine. I have a source for PMB. We're friends. You're a crip, I'm a blood. It's green now. We're making money. A gallon of PCP in LA goes for 12 to 17,000. That same gallon in New York, Philadelphia, Maryland goes for 35 to 65,000. Do you ever feel bad for these people or think that maybe they, they're not bad people? No, not at all. You don't have to be a bad person to do criminal activities. We follow the rules and the laws. Nothing personal. I catch you, I catch you. If I don't catch you, I don't catch you. Why do people use it? I have no idea. I don't drink and I don't smoke. Never have. Never did drugs, because my whole life I wanted to be a cop. I wanted to be a dope cop. But that's me. Yeah. I can't talk about anybody else. At some point, someone had to figure out this bucket method. They had to go to the original articles written by the chemist who discovered right. PCP. Vic Maddox, right. and they had to adapt his synthetic route for clandestine manufacture. So I'm curious about who that was. There's one family in South LA that basically started the PCP epidemic in the 70s. And they are like the godfathers of PCP in South LA. I'm very curious about I'm this family. I'm not going to mention the names at all. But not the sorts of people that would want to talk to us on oh, camera. Oh, no, they wouldn't talk to you. That's why I'm not going to give you a name. Hansel and Gretel. <laughs> 